Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I hope everybody is doing good, feeling great, stocking up on your water and your Roman noodles, sticking them in your in your closet or something. Everybody's being, you know, proactive in their lives. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about a very interesting theory that took flight, I guess we could say, a couple years ago. Now, before I go into telling you all about this, I first heard about this from our oldest son, Jordan. You guys know our oldest son is 23 now and he is in the Air Force and he was home a couple years ago and he was talking to me and he said, did you hear that birds are not real? And I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, birds are not real. Like they are literally just robots. They're drones. Why do you think they sit on telephone wires? They charge there. And listen, before I just go off and tell our kids or one of our kids that their ideas are nuts, like, oh my gosh, are you serious? I always try to, oh, oh, well, okay. I got to look into that. You know what I mean? Because you just never know. So that was the first time I heard of this weird rumor or theory, but it was a big movement. Before I tell y'all all of the details and then at the end of this video, tell you guys my opinions on everything, I just wanna let you know if you don't already know, hi, my name is Christina. I do have a second channel, which is Casually Christina. Do things far more casually over there. I also have a Patreon. My Patreon is for 18 and up. And over there, we talk about more personal stuff. We go live over there. It is a good time if you are 18 and up and you'd like to join. I also have a $2 tier where all of the like true crime stuff that cannot go on to YouTube due to their terms and policies, as well as other like C theory type of stuff that goes over on my Patreon. Um, under the $2 tier. Make sure you read the about section and what each tier offers before you join those so you know what you're getting. And I also have um, a Facebook, an Instagram, a Snapchat, and I'm on Like to Know It, where I post links to stuff like my favorite things like clothes, makeup, hair stuff, workout stuff, whatever. All of those are linked down in the description box if you would like to come and check me out. So have you heard about the birds aren't real C theory. Have you ever heard the phrases, if it flies, it spies, or my favorite one is bird watching goes both ways. Have you ever been asked if you have ever seen a baby pigeon? Have you ever seen a baby pigeon ever? You probably haven't because they don't exist. But if they did exist, surely someone has seen a baby pigeon, right? So we decided to go to the streets to find out for ourselves. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? No. Have any of you seen a baby pigeon ever? No. I don't think so. <laughs> I have not, no. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Actually, I haven't. Um, that is kind of sketchy now that I think about it. These catchphrases and questions came from the Birds Aren't Real movement, which was the theory that claimed that the U.S people in charge wiped out all of the birds with poison gas between 1959 and 1971 and replaced all of the real birds with drones that is used by the people in charge to spy on its citizens. Okay, answer me this. Why is it that whenever a human touches a power line, we get shocked and millions of birds sit on power lines every day perfectly fine? The answer may be more simple than you think. Every bird you see is actually a government surveillance drone in disguise. And what do drones have? Batteries that need to be charged. Wow, what a coincidence that there are wires full of electricity hung up in every American city. Put the pieces together, guys. Birds charge on power lines. And they're watching you and I every day. Now, I went down the rabbit hole a couple years ago trying to figure out about this type of thing and birds and and I'm like no way that all the birds were wiped out I mean come on 
I got chickens. That's a bird. Or, you know, I've seen birds in pet stores. Like, I, I know that birds are real, but this really caught my attention. Now, the movement also claimed that these like bird lookalike drones, they sit on the power lines to recharge themselves and relieve themselves on cars as a tracking method and even claimed that JFK was taken out by these people in charge because he was against wiping out all of the real birds for his program. Okay, again, so think about this. The theory is that these birds have been all wiped out. They're just drones that look like birds and act like birds. They sit on these power lines so they can recharge and then their droppings on your vehicle are tracking devices. I mean, you can connect the dots really if, if you want to. It makes sense, but it don't make sense. But where did this movement even come from? Is there any evidence, like real evidence to prove this theory? Now this movement of birds aren't real actually was started back in January of 2017 by a young man named Peter McIndoo. At the time, Peter was 23 years old and he had recently dropped out of college. He was at a women's march in Memphis, Tennessee when he was videoed holding a sign that said birds aren't real. Then this video went viral. This movement quickly gained traction and in 2019, a billboard, a whole billboard was put up that said birds aren't real in Memphis, Tennessee. In 2021, supporters of the movement showed up in the front of X's, or the name was Twitter at the time, San Francisco headquarters demanding that the company change its bird logo. Now, by this time, it was reported that the movement had hundreds of thousands of supporters. Peter himself made multiple media appearances and did several interviews promoting the movement. Now, at this time, he claimed that he was working full time as the spokesperson for this birds aren't real movement and that the way that he was supporting himself was by making money off of the merch that he was selling. Peter even went as far as on his birds aren't real socials. He featured people like an alleged informant from the CIA who went on to be this like birds aren't real whistleblower who confessed to working on bird drone surveillance. This video got over 20 million views. Well, I started off in the military for a few years uh, in California. Okay. Then after I got out of the military, I was uh, doing security for the CIA. I was in DC in uh, 72. And then they moved me into domestic intelligence. Hmm. And it's while I was there that, well, I saw some things that I, I really wish I hadn't seen. Are you referring to bird drone surveillance? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us some more about that? Oh yeah, like I said, I'd, I'd been with the CIA for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then one morning I got ordered to report to a military base and I was briefed on something called Operation Water the Country. And when okay, I got- For those who don't know what that is, um, can you explain what that is? Oh sure, it's a code name we use for the process of removing all the living birds. They used a poison gas dropped from airplanes. Mm -hmm. Now after the living birds were taken out of the picture, what was the next step? Well, they were replaced with fake birds. They were, they were electronic decoys. They could watch people without them knowing it. Graffiti of the phrase, birds aren't real, started popping up all over Memphis and videos of other people chanting, birds aren't real, were all over the internet. On the birds aren't real website, there was alleged confidential government documents that discussed the project and it had pictures of higher up government officials posing with these drones. But then in 2021, Peter announced that the birds aren't real movement was actually a satirical C theory that he actually created on a whim and that he was just playing this character. Now, although he may have started this movement on a whim and didn't actually believe in it, Peter did say that there was a deeper meaning behind it. In an interview with Vice, 60 Minutes, and in a TED Talk, Peter said that he started in character, but he later broke character and described the purpose behind creating this movement in the first place. In 2021, I broke character, revealed the movement was a farce, 
uh, on the front page of the New York Times, and I was very proud, as you can see. Allow me to reintroduce myself one more time.、Uh, hi, I'm Peter. I grew up in Arkansas, in Little Rock, where I was homeschooled on the outskirts of town. The community that I grew up with was hyper conservative and religious, and almost everyone that I knew believed in some form of conspiracy theory. During my entire life, I always felt like I was on the fringes of normal society.、Uh, so, as you can imagine, when it became time for me to play a character, the conspiracy theorist was a pretty easy one for me to tap into. During the years in character, I used the same cadence, logic, and arguments as those I grew, I grew up around. Just with a different theory swapped in, it led to hundreds of interactions with strangers. These experiences, hundreds of them over the years, watching how people interact with those on the fringes of our society, gave me an entirely new perspective on our approach to conspiracy theorists. Whether it's how we frame them in the conventional media, to how we deal with those in our own lives. If our goal is to live in a shared reality with our neighbors. What if our current approach isn't bringing us any closer to that? What if by talking to conspiracy theorists like they're ignorant and stupid, we're actually pushing them farther away from the truth that we want them to see? Because what happens when someone tells you that you're stupid, you're all wrong, you're the problem? You'll feel judged and dismissed, and most importantly, you'll feel othered, which may lead you to look for safety in those who are like-minded. To do what they have been doing for you, affirm your selfhood, give you a sense of identity, belonging. These are some of the most basic human desires, things that we are all looking for: a sense of purpose, community. Essentially, Peter says that because of his background and where he grew up, he wanted to build a space for people to come together and have a laugh rather than be scared or alone. He said that he just wanted to have a place to accept like the craziness of the theory and be a bird truther for a moment in time when everything was just. Really, so crazy in life. He believes that the members of his movement found a community that they felt like they belonged to, and he also went on to say that the movement basically became a social experiment in misinformation. Now, when he was asked why he finally decided to announce that he did in fact believe that birds were real, Peter said that he wanted to make sure that nothing that he said was too realistic, so that the movement didn't get out of control. Now, moving forward, Peter also said that he has big plans. And he said that he was hoping to collaborate with major content creators and independent media sources to help people make sense of America's current state and the internet. Peter said, "Yes, we have been intentionally spreading misinformation for the past four years, but it's with a purpose, and it's about holding up a mirror to America in the internet age." He also said, "I have a lot of excitement for what the future of this could be as an actual force for good." Now, of course, we all know that birds are real, but it sure does make you wonder about some of these like strange videos that started to come out in the height of this movement. There's just no way. He ain't even moving, bro. He's just what the. Glitch. So, what do I think? I obviously think that birds are real,、uh, duh. But I also think that I would not be surprised if there were birds that were used as drones to monitor certain things too. But I definitely do not think that the government is spying on us from bird drones. Maybe it somewhere else. Maybe bases. Maybe different things. Yes, but not us. They spying on us through these right here. Are you kidding me? I mean, me and my husband was literally just talking the other day in the living room about above ground pools, and I crap you not, we just had the conversation. No searches, no nothing. And the next thing you know, he opens up his phone, and nothing but ads for above ground pools. Not even a Google search. I mean, it is very bizarre. 
Okay, we already know if you guys watch my videos about the ring doorbell, like camera footage type of stuff and people having the Alexas in their homes and the cameras in their homes, we already know that the TV, some of these TVs got cameras in them. And I didn't even know that. And I got cameras in about every single room of my house. And I had no idea that some of these TVs, these new smart TVs have cameras in them. So I definitely don't think they're using birds, but somebody is listening to something. And I watched some other interviews with Peter and he said that when he was in high school, he got voted most likely to go to jail. You know, like most likely to, you know, be successful or be an athlete, da, 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 da. most likely to go to jail. So I guess he was cutting up in high school. And that kind of made my heart like, I know what it feels like to be that kid. And he told this story about standing on or sitting on the rooftop with his friends and seeing people out protesting about an election back, back then. And that's what really like made him say, well, let me just take a sign and with something random and start chanting it and see what happens. Now, this is his story. I've heard him speak a few times and I think he is a smart young man. However, I cannot help but to wonder, and this is my mind here, cannot help but to wonder who all could have been okay or behind this. Cause let me tell you something like you can't just go and put billboards up of C theories and, and stuff in, in my, in my opinion, my very unprofessional, please y'all, I'm nothing but, I mean, please go do your own research, form your own opinions. I would just assume you can't just, I couldn't go put a billboard up about any other C theory. Just about think about it. Pick one, pick one of the popular ones. They gonna let me start putting billboards up around it. And I can't even do videos on here talking about area. Did y'all see the video that I did about the cave that is shaped with the letter that goes after L? And there was a lot of you guys that were saying that y'all had to use VPNs to even watch the video. So I think it's interesting that this was allowed to get as big as it was. I also believe that when it comes to misinformation, I think that certain people like some in misinformation because it drowns out the truth. I think the smartest way for certain people to drown out things that get leaked that are true would be to leak 10 different things that are not true so everybody is confused and you can't figure it out and so many things seem not real so that way when you do come across things that could be real, you put it all in the same pile. And so I can't help but to wonder what the birds aren't real movement if it, if it had a different type of effect. When I heard Peter do his TED talk and talk about this movement that he made and said that people came together and he felt like people come around these C theories because they want a sense of community. I think one of the reasons why people look into C theories is because they believe what they're being told is not true. And a lot of the times I think that people have good reason to believe that the things that they're being told are not true because they turn out to not be true. So people start to question things. Like if you have a spouse, a husband or a wife that lies to you every, every other day about where they've been. You're supposed to just continue to trust them. No, you're going to start questioning things. You're going to start wondering. You're going to start, you know, looking more. And I think that's what a lot of people do. I think it has to do with the distrust. And I think there are certain entities or organizations that have lost a lot of people's trust. But when it comes to birds aren't real, I definitely think that birds are real. And it's interesting. It's interesting that it got as far as it did. So what do you guys think? Do you think that this was just like some young guy who just like came up with this idea and it just fell through the cracks and it got out of control and nobody stopped it? Or do you think that that, and maybe there's a little bit more, or do you think that birds aren't real? Do you think all the birds were poisoned back in the 1950s to the 1970s. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Other than that, I love you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here and I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.